Welcome to my kitchen, still under construction. If you are a fan of the show, you know that I had a little water leak and that the kitchen is in a bit of disrepair, uh, which you will be able to see as we work in it today. Today, I have figured out something as I've been kind of racking my brain to make for you. And I figured out something that I can make with just one, well, two different instruments, uh, a water boiler and a refrigerator. And so today we are going to make Jello. Ha <laughs> Let's look at the ingredients. Jello involves jello and water, and we're gonna make it fancy with some Cool Whip. So the jello that I grew up with was made in a bowl, and I've got a bowl to do the jello with nothing. I was talking to our editor, Christy, who is fabulous. Um, I'm gonna boil uh, a little more than a cup of water here, and my trusty water boiler, and she was showing me some kind of cool jello things that we can make. We're actually gonna use these kind of parfait glasses that you'll remember from our deconstructed Rocky Road ice cream dessert. And so uh, we're gonna make these, but we're actually gonna tilt them so that the jello solidifies in kind of a cool pattern. I, I don't know, it's kind of a kitschy thing to do, but hey, we gotta make an episode, so we're gonna make an episode. I don't wanna miss an episode with you guys. I know you enjoyed Father Cook's scrambled cooking under the collar as he made delicious chocolate chip pancakes. I had so much fun making that. But uh, you're back with me now and it's back into this kitchen, which I heard from the insurance company yesterday that they've approved the claim. And so we should be able to get to work pretty soon. I'm sure you'll see a lot of progress uh, coming up in the weeks uh, ahead. So while we've got the water boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and grab one Pack it. We're literally making this by the direction. One cup of boiling water, one cup of cold water after we mix the boiling water with the powder uh, that is dissolved. All right, the water coming to a boil. We're gonna just pour this carefully into a glass Pyrex. One cup. We've got our whisk, got our jello. In it goes. And it says on the box, two minutes. We're gonna stir it for two minutes. Obviously, if I'm making jello, I'm not giving up sugar for Lent, but I'm giving up something for Lent, um, but I'm not focusing as much on that. Kind of as Deacon Mimi and Father Cook have said, trying to focus on the ways in which I want to experience Christ in my life, how to focus on God's presence with me in the midst of this ongoing pandemic when kind of my own control or agency has been taken away at some level, how I might embrace that and be humbled by that um, is, is what I'm focusing on a bit more. At this point, uh, the powder is dissolved. I'm gonna add one cup of cold water and just whisk that in really quickly. And now here comes the different part. As a kid, we would just throw this in the fridge and be done with it. Um, but I'm actually gonna use just um, a uh, kind of container like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill these about halfway and we're gonna carefully lean them so that the, the jello sh sets up on a, on a slant, kind of, kind of fancy. Take my Pyrex, fill it up about halfway. And we're literally going to kind of lean them over just like, just, what? Just like that. And do one after the next. You know, the, the pandemic, the kitchen, health stuff, whatever's going on with you, you gotta make the most out of it. You can't, you can't get too down and out about things. You've gotta continue to realize that it's all gonna be okay in the end and that We'll just have a little fun with it while we're while we're in the midst of whatever's going on. And one more. That seems pretty good. We're gonna go and put these in the fridge and then we're gonna wait overnight and we're gonna top them with Cool Whip. Right here we've got some set up jello and you can see how it is gonna hold its shape. So at this point, we're going to go and take our Cool Whip, or you can make whipped cream if you want, or whatever, whatever type of beautiful 
whipped topping. Let it thaw a little bit, which I did. And we're going to simply put this inside. Not that hard. Try to get it kind of down there without destroying your beautiful edge. You want to make sure it's soft. Don't, don't, don't use it frozen. So I've done one and it didn't go quite as smoothly as I thought it was. Uh, make sure that you're not using a frozen Cool Whip, that this is, you know, dethawed. Mine's a little frozen in the middle. So I'm going to mix it up and I'm going to take kind of the the non-frozen part. And we're actually going to go ahead and apply it as far down in as we can get without messing up the jello. If you, if you try to pack it in from the top, it doesn't work as well. I think that works better if you go down, kind of. Do you see how we're getting it down there? And the jello kind of bounces back, which is good. This was more complicated than I thought, see? Aren't you glad we're having a cooking show on how to do jello parfaits? Whatever these things are gonna be called. And then you could smooth off the top or you can go and give it kind of a little, little swirly design. And there we have it. I'm gonna keep working on these and we'll see you in a minute. All right, first of all, I did end up making the Jello as we grew up with in the bowl. I'm sure it's delicious, but because y'all are special and this is cooking under the collar and we have to do things a little extra, thanks to Christy for Durbin, we are making our beautiful, stylish Jello and Cool Whip dessert, which is delicious. I've gone out of my way. I'm going to have to wash all of these in the sink, <laughs> but. But that's fine, that's fine. You can imagine what this tastes like, right? Cool Whip, strawberry jello. You can use any flavor you want. But it's kind of a fun little thing. I, I also saw that you could put a layer of fruit on the top uh, and then put the, and then it has a little, you know, strawberry layer in it uh, in between the Cool Whip and the jello. But I didn't do that because I didn't care. And um, here's a quick tip, when you're jamming the the, the whipped topping in there, you just take your spoon and you kind of push it down. The jello will get out of its way and then it'll bounce back. So there you go. If you really, if you really try it, I need more recipes that I can do with a water boiler and an oven and a microwave and a fridge, but without a lot of counter space and without a sink. So if you've got a suggestion, let me know, email me, put a comment in the description below. Whatever you want to see, I'm going to probably grill some stuff pretty soon. But in the meantime, we are ready to give this a go. I miss seeing y'all. It was great to see you on Ash Wednesday. Um, I, the first bite's going to be all just Cool Whip. Oh, wait, there we go. We're getting it. We're getting it. That's a lot of, that's a lot of whip topping there. Second bite, though. I mean, it, it, it's like Jello and Cool Whip. I don't know what to tell you. It's a, a kid. It's certainly a kid's uh, delight. And the only, the last time I think I had Jello was after I was in recovery uh, about a month ago with my little gallbladder surgery in the hospital. They brought dinner, which was like spaghetti and meatballs with Jello. And I don't think I've had Jello since then. It's good. It's kind of a fun, it's kind of a fun little light, good Florida dessert. Mm -hmm. Give it a try, make it. I hope you've enjoyed this cooking under the collar. It's great to see you and I hope you'll join me next week. But until then, we will see you Sunday on live stream. Mm. Uh oh, you're evaluating my work. I am. Are you subscribed? I will with a red button. And give us a thumbs up. I'm a fan. Of course.